This week's Parsha B'chukosei opens with the fabulous blessings that we will be endowed with for for following the mitzvot and diligently and lovingly studying God's Torah. Among the blessings, Achaltem lachmechem lasova. You will eat your bread to the point of satisfaction. What exactly is that blessing? The great commentary Rashi explains that you're going to eat a small amount of bread and you're going to be satisfied. It's going to, you're, it's a small amount of bread will be, a small amount of bread will be blessed in your innards, in your stomach, in your digestive system. Meaning you'll eat a small amount and your hunger will be satisfied and all your nutritional and health needs will be taken care of. Actually, this is a magnificent blessing because in Pirkei Avos, we're taught, Ezehu Ashir HaSameach Bechelko, who is a wealthy person, someone who's happy with what he has. So a person can have millions, many, millions of dollars and, and to, to no end and, and to be poor because if he's not happy with what he has. And a person can have a small amount of dollars and actually be a fabulously wealthy person if he's happy with what he has. Rabbi Moshe Kormornik quotes Rabbi Noah Weinberg, who asked his students, would you sell your eyes for $10 million? And of course, the response was, no, no. no. So then you're millionaires. You're fabulously wealthy. He proceeded to ask, let's say you won the lottery and you were on your way to pick up a check for a hundred million dollars. And then on the way, somebody uh, 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 seems to, you're driving and somebody seems to slight you on the road and uh, you're okay, everything's okay. Would you turn and say, well, how, what kind of person is driving that way? How could you drive that way? Or if somebody rubs you the wrong way, what would you, what would you, would you respond? No, you're, you're, you're so filled with joy and so filled with happiness. I'm getting a hundred million dollars. Well, said Rabbi Weinberg to his students, you are millionaires. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And that actually is <laughs> hidden in the word ashir. And the Hebrew word ashir is ayin, shin, yud, resh. And looking at it, the ayin in the word ashir re- represents eyes, a nayim. The shin in the word ashir represents shinayim, teeth. The yud in the word ashir represents yodayim, hands. The resh in the word ashir represents raglayim. So, said Rabbi Weinberg to his students, congratulations, you are fabulously wealthy. Rejoice. Have a magnificent Shabbos.